Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy les traemos un super video con el cual podrán practicar y estudiar para el examen de las preguntas cívicas. Hemos colocado las 100 preguntas con dos oficiales distintos mezcladas, pero hemos puesto las respuestas en audio. Hemos visto que muchos de ustedes les gusta simplemente escuchar una y otra vez, una y otra vez las 100 preguntas cívicas, pero la verdad que escucharlas de la 1 a la 100 se re vuelve un poquito cansón. ¿Por qué? Porque uno ya sabe qué pregunta sigue, por eso lo hacemos de esta manera mezcladas. Hemos puesto dos oficiales pues haciéndote las preguntas y otra persona dando las respuestas con otro acento distinto. Sin duda esto te va a ayudar a aprender las 100 preguntas cívicas. Ahora, si te gustaría tener una estructura de trabajo o un plan de estudio, nosotros ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Este es un curso 100% digital que cuenta con material de apoyo que consiste en transcripciones y audios que puedes descargar. Son más de 50 videos que están organizados en módulos para que te sea más fácil aprender todo sobre la entrevista de ciudadanía, sin interrupciones y sin comerciales. Este, por ser un curso digital, lo puedes estudiar a tu propio tiempo y a tu propio ritmo sin importar importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo respondiendo tus preguntas ya sea por email o por un número directo de WhatsApp. Así que ya sabes, si te gustaría tener el mejor plan de estudio y bien organizado, visita nuestra página cursosconfernando.com y ponte a estudiar ya. Muy bien, vamos a practicar y a estudiar las 100 preguntas cívicas. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression. Freedom of speech. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. We elect a president for how many years? Four. How many U.S. senators are there? One hundred. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomat. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote, join a political party. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. How many amendments does the Constitution have? Twenty-seven. Who was the first president? George Washington. 
How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life. Liberty. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Defend the Constitution and laws of the United States. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Who was president during the Great Depression in World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Answers will vary. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Any citizen can vote. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Provide schooling and education. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Energy 
Secretary of Education. Who is the governor of your state now? Answers will vary. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes, taxation without representation. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Kevin McCarthy. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. Who vetoes bills? The president. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War One. What is the capital of your state? Answers will vary. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because they have more people. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. When was the Constitution written? 1787. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. 
In what month do we vote for president? November. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. Who was President during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist economy. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil Rights Movement. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there is one star for each state. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. What is the political party of the president now?
Democratic. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi River. Name your U.S. representative. Answers will vary. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announced our independence from Great Britain. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Eighteen and older. Name two national U.S. holidays. Independence Day. Thanksgiving. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te fue con el video del día de hoy? Espero que te haya resultado útil. Recuerda que si te resultó siquiera un poco de utilidad, regálanos tu like, es bien importante. Este like ayuda a que otras personas reciban este tipo de información y también puedan lograr su meta así como tú la quieres lograr. Recuerda que si te gustaría llegar lo mejor preparado para el día de tu entrevista, ahí tenemos nuestro curso disponible en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Este curso te va a dar la seguridad y el orden de trabajo para que llegues bien preparado para ese día tan importante. Si tienes tu entrevista esta semana, te deseamos mucha suerte. Si no la tienes aún, sigamos trabajando todos juntos para que logres tu meta. Nos vemos pues en el próximo video. Chao.